Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression. We're given that x plus y equals 4, and we're going to evaluate x cubed plus y cubed plus 12xy. So we're going to find a numerical value for this expression for the second one, and I'll be presenting at least three methods. And if you can come up with a fourth one, please let us know in the comment section down below. All right, great. So we're given x plus y equals 4, so let's go ahead and use it. How do we use it? To be able to use it, I can go ahead and isolate the y. So in other words, solve for y in terms of x, subtract x, we get y equals 4 minus x. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute that into my expression everywhere uh, y occurs. So it's going to be like this, x cubed plus 4 minus x to the quantity, I mean quantity cubed, plus 12x multiplied by 4 minus x. Well, this kind of looks like a variable expression, but let's go ahead and simplify it because we're supposed to find a numerical expression at the end, right? That's what the goal is. So let's go ahead and expand 4 minus x to the third power. And at this point, I'm also thinking about another thing that we could probably factor out 4 minus x and that'll probably give us something helpful but anyway let's proceed with this a cubed minus 3 a squared b plus 3 a b squared i'm just going to use the normal formula minus x cubed plus 48 x i'm distributing this minus 12 x squared awesome let's go ahead and simplify this expression x cubed plus 64 minus 48 x 3 times 16 is 48 3 times 4 is 12, so that's 12x squared minus x cubed plus 48x minus 12x squared. Now, hopefully you see what I see, do you? We're going to simplify this. Notice that x cubed minus x cubed is equal to 0. 48x minus 48x is 0. 12x squared minus 12x squared is 0. And the answer is 64. And remember, we were looking for a numerical value, so this should not come as a surprise, right? Okay, this is the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And at the end, you're gonna decide which method is the best. And you can kind of rank them too, like my favorite is second, this and this and that. Okay, I'm not saying mine is second, but actually I kind of like the second anyways. So, x plus y equals four. Now, we were given a cubic expression, right? So, and we have x plus y. So that kind of tells me, I think to be able to go from x plus y, to be able to go to x cubed plus y cubed from x plus y, it will, it will make sense if we cube both sides, right? At least we're going to get the first and the last terms. So let's give it a try. Sometimes with these problems, you don't necessarily know that your method is going to work, but you just give it a try. Of course, when I'm presenting the solutions, I already know it's going to work, right? Sometimes I don't. Anyways, so let's cube both sides we get the following. Again, for this one, I can use the formula x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed equals 64. And now we are looking for something like this, x cubed plus y cubed plus 12xy. I don't have a 12xy here, but I can kind of put these two together. At least I'll be getting the first part and the rest can be factored there's a common factor. Remember, this is actually an identity we do use uh, for the cubic formula, right? Great. So that's what we have so far. And remember, our goal is to find x cubed plus y cubed plus 12xy. I didn't get 12xy, but I got 3xy times x plus y. But what is x plus y? Well, you know that. x plus y is equal to 4. So let's replace x plus y with 4. And ta-da! We get the answer from here right away, right? That's why... I kind of like the second method, but I don't want to be biased, okay? Plus 12xy, because we multiply 3 times 4, and that's equal to 4, 64. So this is kind of like one of the problems where we, you know, find the expression right away. And there is another problem that is asking for something like sine to the 6th power plus cosine to the 6th power plus something like, I think it's 3 sine squared, cosine squared. So you kind of start off with sine squared plus cosine squared and cube both and you immediately get it. Anyway, that's kind of similar to this problem. I just want to mention that real quick. And now we got the answer because we were looking for the left-hand side 
and it's equal to the right hand side which is 64 so that's the answer make sense okay awesome so I told you that I was gonna present at least three methods so here's the third one and I know some people are gonna be like you know they're not gonna like this method right but that's okay you don't have to like every method by the way so but it's still a method so we're trying to evaluate this expression based on the first given equation how do I do that since I'm looking for a numerical value the particular values of x and y should not matter don't you think I mean if x and y are any values as long as their sum is 4 because that's what matters the only thing that matters is that the sum of x and y is 4 so why not use x equals 4 and y equals 0 let's try it 4 cubed is 64 y cubed is 0 and obviously this is also 0 which is nice obviously using 0 is a good idea but what if you're not convinced and you want to use more values that's fine let's use 2 and 2 it's kind of symmetrical right 2 cubed is 8 2 cubed is 8 and then 12 times 2 times 2 is 12 times 4 which is 48 16 plus 48 is equal to 64 wow one more time obviously this is not a proof but it kind of gives us more confidence doesn't it and you can definitely try x equals 3 y equals 1 you could even try x equals 1 million and y equals 999,996 with a minus sign of course right in the front okay anyways that's pretty much it. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.